Welcome back everyone and thanks for stopping by Rick's Gadgets. Today I wanted to talk about integrating your home seer with the Amazon Echo devices. This is a pretty neat way of controlling your home with voice commands and not having the need for remotes laying around to trigger scenes and other devices. Um, I've almost gotten rid of all my uh, remotes around the house and just placed a couple of echo dots uh, in the vicinity to help control the, um, the automation portion of the house. So it's really easy to set up. Um, what I'm going to do first is make sure you uh, understand the device settings within HomeSeer and what you want to control. So I'm going to go back to this event that we created the other day, our device called Den Lights. And this was just a virtual device that we created to turn on the den lights. Now, of course, Amazon will allow you to group the scene devices and do this for you, or you can do it within HomeSeer. It's just your preference. Here, I'm just going to use it for demonstration purposes. So we have this event or device that we created called den lights. First you want to do is you want to check and make sure the voice command box is checked. By default now it is on. It used to be defaulted off. You had to go in there and turn these on. Um, so anything you want to control within your system, go in and make sure this is checked. If you've got an older system, chances are it could be unchecked. Secondly, if you've got some crazy name on this and you don't want to be yelling it out to Alexa, you can put in a voice command, an override. And this is kind of nice, so if you've got some long name, you just want to simplify it, put it in here. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to say, set up your devices first, and then we will get into the setting up your Amazon Alexa. So once you've configured all these, and anything you're wanting to control. This can be thermostats, lights, um, any on-off type devices will work. So now, once we've got this set up within HomeSeer, now we're gonna go over to the Alexa app. So what you're gonna do is open up the Alexa app. And in here, you want to make sure you have the HomeSeer skill. And I will scroll down here and show you it's this one here. It's called Home Seer Skills. And I like the skill better than the other um, skill that's within Home Seer, just the one that's named Home Seer. This one allow you to actually say turn on the lights. The other one that they offer is a little more robust. It will control events and other uh, type of actions, but you have to say tell Home Seer to turn on such and such device. So this one's a little simpler. It's easier to use. So what you want to do is have this set up and enable the skill and it will be able to control your devices. So once you're done enabling the skill, we're going to go back and go into the smart home settings. And what we want to do is we want to add a device. And it should start searching and it should find this new device called Den Lights. So we'll give it a second here. And what it's doing is any of those boxes that you have checked with Enable Voice Control, it will pull in and you should see on your device list. Like I said, I'll have some already enabled because I've already been using this for a while. But it said it found three devices. So I must have added something else. But there we go. There's Den Lights. So it is set up and ready to go. So if you want to go in and name this or do any controls, you can. So what I'm going to do here is just show you real quickly. So I'm in the dim lights and I've got the screen pulled up here as well. So if I turn it on, there we go. Turns on, we'll turn it off, turns off. So as you can see, it was pretty easy to get this set up and configured. The biggest thing is it's just not having those boxes checked when you run your, your scan from the Amazon app. 
So if you see your devices aren't being pulled in, just go back and make sure that your box is checked there to enable voice control. And then you're, you're set. So pretty simple. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I appreciate you subscribing and liking my channel. And uh, let me know if you have any other topics you would like me to cover about HomeSeer. Thanks and have a great day.